Hello, everybody. My name is Ayan Smith. I am a graphic design major here at Old Dominion University. And today, I am doing a very significant presentation. I will be covering passiveness versus assertiveness versus aggressiveness. I believe this presentation I am about to present is important and we as humans should know passiveness, assertiveness, and aggressiveness and the form of communication. So my table of contents, I will talk about what is passiveness, assertiveness, aggressiveness, and passive aggressiveness when we all communicate as humans. <laughs> then I will talk about why we shouldn't be passive or aggressive. And finally, when it's all said and done, I will explain why we all should be assertive and stand up for ourselves. All right, so what is passiveness? When a person is passive, That person is most likely apologetic and direct, a people pleaser, and self denying. I cannot stress this enough. Why? Well, I have a particular RTS podcast when I explained it my four biggest mistakes that I made in my life. One of those mistakes was being Mr. Nice Guy. And I explained how when I was being Mr. Nice Guy, I was pretty much a doormat. This picture perfectly sums up what is passiveness. When a person is passive, that person is not confident. Uh, the person is a people pleaser and what I mean by people pleaser is you would do anything to satisfy a person even if you don't want to do that particular thing just to make that person happy uh, Self-denying is uh, denying your problems and holding back your problems so you won't make that person feel bad. Uh, and that way is kind of the same thing, except that you, you're not as talkative and uh, communicating and apologetic. Uh, just apologizing for unnecessary things. I'm sure we all know what that is. All right, so what is assertiveness? When a person is assertive, that person is confident, expressive, fair, and honest. In this picture, it looks like the woman is explaining what's going on to her husband and it looks like the husband is listening to her by making that eye contact. Uh, from my experience, I know I'm trying every day to 
work on being more assertive and just you know work work on expressing myself no matter if it's how I feel or what I'm going through being more honest that's uh, kind of like being expressive uh, confident that's just pretty much believing in yourself and, and fair uh, being fair is a, a person compromising all right so what is aggressiveness aggressiveness is attacking blaming controlling inappropriately honest and judgmental an aggressive person represents all five of these terms uh, I'm sure we all know what all five of these terms are uh, yeah it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory but I will go into inappropriately honest because when an aggressive person is like that, uh, he or she doesn't see the bigger picture before realizing that person or realizing the actual situation. It's kind of like being judgmental, but it goes hand in hand. All right, so what is passive aggressiveness? Emotionally dishonest. Uh, when a person is emotionally dishonest, uh, he or she holds back their problems and holds back what they're going through because either they don't want to make that person feel bad or they just don't want to be bothered with and being excuse me not being bothered with is completely fine but when it's consistently going on it destroys your friendships it destroys your relationships with your close friends and your family members and it's it's toxic. So, for example, uh, if my mom asks me if I'm okay, and I say I find, I'm I'm fine, but I, I said it in a more in, in a tone when I'm sad, but I try to pretend that. I'm not sad. My mom is gonna realize that, and she's gonna ask me what's going on. Are you okay? It looks like you're lying to me. And I'll be like, Mom, I'm 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 fine. She'll be like, Okay, I'm just trying to check on you. And I say, Okay, I don't care. That's an example of being passive aggressive. You hold back from your problems, and at the same time, you push that person away. Don't be passive or aggressive because it's slowly destroying your friendships and family relationships. So, what I said in the last night is pretty much what I'm saying on this night. Last but not least, be assertive. Stand up for yourself. Excuse me. 
when you stand up for yourself, people will respect you more. People will understand you and you will no longer be misunderstood. When you are assertive, you compromise. You are honest, no matter what you're going through. And you are expressive and confident. This is my presentation on passiveness, assertiveness, and aggressiveness. Please give this presentation a like and a comment. I will appreciate the feedback. And let me know of what kind of presentations you would guys like me to give. And <laughs> I will come through and I will deliver. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too so I can keep inspiring people all over the world. I'm Zion Smith, always and forever. <laughs>